Hello class. I wanted to create a few videos to help with your homework. Uh, so this looks like uh, we are given a random sample of 15 college students and they're asked uh, how many hours do they work outside of the home and here are the responses. And then the first question we ask is to create a frequency histogram. So I click the two tables to the right of my data to open my data in StatCrunch. And then I can click on graph, histogram, uh, var1 is where my data was stored. And let's see what else we can do here. Uh, I'll start at zero and my width will be one. And I just want to go back and see, I made a mistake already. Instead of having a width of one, it looks like the width is five, right? Five, 10. So I want to go back and correct that to say width is five, now press compute. So here is my histogram. Oof, doesn't look great. Let's see if we can find that somewhere. So I have two bars that go down and then a gap, and I believe that's what I had on uh, my drawing, right? two bars that go down and a gap. So I will select this as my choice. Uh, for those of you that are working at home, you might have a different looking histogram, but the steps to get the histogram are the same. I press check answer. Um, and now it says my, uh, the shape of my data. Well, it's not really a bell shaped curve. Um, maybe it's a little bit skewed to the left because my data kind of trails off to the left. So I'll try skewed left. Check answer. Nice work. Next, it says the mean number of hours worked by the college students. So we're looking for the mean here. So remember, the quick way to handle the mean in stat crunch would be to press stat, summary statistics, columns, var one is where our data is stored. And you'll see I have the variance, the mean. Uh, I press compute. So my mean is 18.46 or 18.47. So I will type in 18.4. Oh, it looks like it says three decimal places. So let me just double check that. Three decimal places would be 467. Okay. And then I check answer. Okay. Now my median would be the middle of my data. So again, if I look, I have the mean, the variance, the standard deviation. The median is 22. So I will press 22. Oops. And then check answer. That looks good. And then it says, which one's better? Uh, your, your mode, your median, or your mean? So typically, if my, if my data was symmetric, I would say my mean. But if my data is skewed right or skewed left, the median would be a better uh, measure of central tendency. So let's just say that again. Um, I would check mean if my data was symmetric. If my data is not symmetric, right, if, if there's some outliers or, or my data is skewed left or skewed right, I might want to choose the median. And that's number seven. Uh, question number eight. Looks like they're asking for the standard deviation. So again, we can get that from the summary statistics. If I click, click the double tables, open my data in StatCrunch. All right, here's my data. If I press stat, summary stats, uh, columns, right, my data is stored in column bar one. And here's standard deviation, mean, medium, et cetera. So I press compute. And again, remember, I can always add more things here. Right by just pressing uh, the control key and holding down extra uh, values here. Press compute, and the standard deviation is 459.681. So, um, oh, I'm sorry, it says the range. I thought they asked for the standard deviation. So I'm sorry, the range, well, that also comes from the summary stats. That's uh, 1140, 1140. Right? And that's simply just subtracting the greatest value and the smallest value. Check answer. Well done.
Now for the standard deviation, right? Before I jump the gun. And it says round to one decimal place. So my standard deviation is 459.7. 459.7. Check answer. We're looking good. And I think that's it for question number eight.